confident, expecting to deliver a W. Okay, guys, we went over the rules in the dressing room. Let's touch gloves. Opening round scheduled for 10. Able to show you his blocking ability. And there's the left hand working well for him again. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by the Lion. There you go. And now a little combination punching, landing both shots. That's a good block by Brooks. Teddy, when you size up a guy who clearly likes to fight on the inside, what advantages does he have? Well, probably where most people are not looking. They're looking at the physical advantage. He's probably a strong, put-together sort of guy to want to fight on the inside, but mentally he has an advantage because he's ready to go into dark places. He's ready to go into ugly places. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Brooks. Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. Takes one, but gives one. Good work by the Lion. Not hitting his mark there, going upstairs. There he is, working the body. Red hot action to open up this fight. Both men throwing, both men landing. It's been a long time since I've seen something like this. I think it was in the film library. Watchman Henry and Hank, the great Henry Armstrong, never took a step backwards, kept going forward. And that's the end of round one. You let this guy get away. Come on, this is it. You've got to make it a fight now. You can't just move around. You've got to move your hands. Yes. Here we go. Round two is underway. The Lion's the kind of boxer that wants to do just that. Find the target, get the combination working, land both punches. Good looking jab there. Brooks is putting his punches together now. That's a nice combination. Nice. Little head hunting with the left. Good clean shot, returning fire. Well done by the Lion. Stay focused on the inside. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. like a fighter coming back with the right hand after getting scored upon oh he just misses with that headshot blocks that punch the lion's combination punching is working well here takes one Gives one. The right hand scores well. The 
Lions' knowledge of the game is showing through. Three ways to defend. One of them is to block. He did it there well. Good defense, just covering up down low. The Lions landing a combination here. That's what he does when he's at his very best. He took a shot, but he came back with a right hand of his own. We come to the end of the round. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas. And looking up at these corners, you can see the cutman obviously getting to work as they do after every round. What makes a great cutman? Well, he's got to have the right medicines, the right coagulants to stop that. Usually avatine, thrombin, adrenaline. But the most important thing, Joe, is he has to be calm. He has to be able to identify where that cut is. Maybe there's more than one cut. So you got to be calm enough to see the whole picture, the whole landscape, clean it off, put pressure on it, get that medicine in there, keep your fighter from getting excited. And then you need a fighter who's going to get on his wheels a little bit, give the medicine a chance to work. See how he targets that hook? Let's see some defense! Not getting it done with that straight right hand. Able to get away from that headshot with the block. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. You gotta love the work by left hook. Not able to land the headshot. Nice block by left hook. Halfway through this round here, the Lions showing you that sublime skill right now with that two-punch combo. Oh, that's good stuff. Fire it right back with one of his own. Good work by left hook. Able to dismiss that body shot. Left hook showing you a little defensive skill there. Able to move away from that punch. He's showing what a skilled fighter he is with this counter punching. Left hook's fully committed to utilizing the jab. And I think it's working out well for him early on. Well, it is. It's kind of like, you know, sending static out there. You, you want to scramble somebody's radio signal. You know, that's what the jab does. It scrambles your radio signal, or at least in boxing terms, it throws the other guy's rhythm off. And now you can see him zoning in on the target with that double jab. Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. Right to the head with that right. Keep your hands up and throw your hands. I need you to string your punches together. Three, four punches at a time, okay? You understand? Get close with the jab and follow up with two more punches. Uppercut, then left. Uppercut with the right, then the left. Always uppercut. Go out and get him. Go out and fight this guy. Take it to this guy. You have to go out and get this guy. Yap, yap, and throw. Throw to the body, down to the head, then finish to the body. Brooks is ahead on Teddy's scorecard as we take a peek at those scores for the first time here today. Round number four just underway. After three Ooh. rounds, he finds himself up just a round, but nothing really to pull away early on. Frustrating his opponent with great defense. Teddy, there are opportunities that are here for him, aren't there? Yeah, counterpunch opportunities because he's got an opponent who's walking in a little bit. Now he has a chance to start to chuck something back at him a little. Brooks is going to think about the next time he throws a punch because he just got hit by a good solid counter. The Lions at his best when the combinations are landing. He scored well there with that combo. He saw the uppercut, he took advantage, throwing it out there. Left hooks proving to be elusive. How about that, another right hand. 90 seconds to go in round number four. Brooks is tagged by that powerful hook. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. That's classic work with the double jab. Both guys have a
have a lot to be proud of with their performances in this round so far, and they still want to give more. What an encore in this final minute. If you were a kid, you would feel that you're on one of those rides at Space Mountain. I mean, it's just extraordinary. He committed to the jab, and then he brought home the bacon with the uppercut. Well done. Strong right hand by the Lion. Solid. Teddy, he goes down, and he was on the outside where he doesn't like to be. Where he shouldn't be, and he paid a price. Two. Brooks is back up on his feet. What will he look like in the next few moments of this fight? That's the big question. Fourth round now with its last 10 seconds. Keep working, bud. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep the jab pumping. Round number five has arrived. Nice strike after catching one by the Lions. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Left hook so dangerous with that accuracy. A two-punch combination landing. Hooks on the inside. Focus. Back to the punch. The Lions putting forth that hard work he did in training camp there, landing a crisp combination. Left hook swinging and missing like he's at bat right there. That punch was nowhere near his opponent. Nice block that time. It was intended to the head. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left hand scores. Not able to connect with the uppercut. Oh, good looking two punch combination by left hook. Brooks's defense. Is it ever good? Look at how easy he's able to block those punches. Lions doing well here with that two-punch combination. Very nice work to the head. The right hand landed. Good defense upstairs to stay away from that offensive assault. The Lions, the kind of boxer that wants to do just that. Find the target, get the combination working, land both punches. Blocks the headshot. So we've come to the halfway point of what has been a very highly competitive bout. And Teddy, if it stays that way throughout this night, then this is going to be an all-time classic. Left hook's defense is paying off now. Scored well up top. The Lions' strategy coming in was to land a lot of jabs. Teddy, you got to grade him out with an A here. Maybe even an A plus, Joe. That plus is the right hand. Once the jab has been there, bang, the right hand came just when it was supposed to. Give him an A plus. Up top with the right hand. Close the distance. Unlock. Move. Took a shot, now he gives a left. Targeting each other, the exchange was something special. What an excellent two-punch combo by left hook. Accurate uppercut after taking a shot of his own. Lions putting his punches together now. That's a nice combination.
Boy, some of the old school guys would really appreciate this, wouldn't they, Teddy? Just great upper body movement, so elusive up top. Yeah, this is an example like they used to say in the old days. He stands right in front of you, and you can't hit him in the backside with a handful of bulk shot. Keep it up. Keep it up. That's it. Another round, and if it keeps up with the rest of them, it'll be closely contested and hard to score. The Lions combination punching is working well here. Yet another jab land. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by the Lion. Do what you do. Uppercut. Oh, and he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. Very accurate work with the hook there after fine, fine defense. Well placed double jab. Brooks has got a way of just getting away from that punch. Carries that punch intended for the head. Lions landing a combination here. That's what he does when he's at his very best. Dismisses his opponent's headshot. What the combinations? You land in one shot, but I need to see three, four punches now, all right? This fight is too fucking close for you to be lazy with our punches. You understand? Listen, he's done. He is done. I want you to double up that jab and then finish. Hermiano, let's finish this. Keep going, keep going. You're doing great, but let's keep working out there. Don't save anything. Start of round number eight. Teddy, he does have a lead on your scorecard. Left hook's been able to do what he wants in these middle rounds, but with only a few rounds left, he cannot afford a mistake. Well, those are the rounds, you know, a lot of people call those late rounds the championship rounds. Whatever you want to call them, they're the rounds that you get tested. They're the rounds that separate people, separate ordinary fighters from top fighters. Good defensive skill with the block by left hook. The Lions showing you that sublime skill right now with that two-punch combo. Move Blocks in, that belt line in. well. Stay away from those. Come on. Takes one to give one. He comes back with a right hand. The Lions flat-footed. There's no other way to describe it. He's not a fighter that gets up on his toes, moves around, gives you angles. He's flat-footed. Yeah, you don't have to be on your tricycle all over the place, but you can step a little bit. Get out of range. He's doing nothing. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Brooks. Good job on the two-punch combo by left hook. Left hook's just punching air that time. His opponent was able to get out of the way. Comes across with a hook up top. Oh, he just ate a big uppercut right there. And yet another big shot comes in. Wow, is this good stuff.
What good stuff. He just scored the knockdown after being knocked out earlier. Joe, that's incredible. And the knockdown earlier actually set up this knockdown because his opponent, he got a little reckless, a little careless. Let's go. Let's go. You can do it. You can do it. We can do it. The ninth round is here. Takes one, but gives one. Good work by Brooks. Left hook's got that one gift that we have seen win time and time again, and that is pure speed. He's got it every which way. Yeah, he's putting those punches together. There's one way that you have to combat speed, and that's not trying to match it, and that's controlling distance and using timing. That's what his opponent needs to do now. And another right hand comes in. The Lions jab lands well. He missed with that headshot. Good step back counter punch there. Devastating blow by Brooks. They focus on the inside. There he goes. The Lions stunned by. Did you see that? He goes down thanks to that non-stop attack. It's like he was thrown into a blender of punches. Three, four, four, five. So now the question becomes, after that knockdown, and he has gotten up, how does he survive? So this is where instincts kick in. You got to start moving that head automatically right now. You don't want to stay in the middle. Able to dismiss it. Take a ball. Boy, it went down quick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That last round really did. It's over. The fight is over. Left hook, bombs away, worked again. Knockout victory for him. So here we are, late in the fight, just coasting along, and then that happens. And that's exactly why it happened, because he was coasting along. Everybody was comfortable. Everybody thought nothing big's gonna happen. We're gonna wrap it up. And that's when something like this does happen. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Thanks for being with us, everyone.